Local contrast is one of the hardest things to get right in Asher photography. Push it too far and your background turns noisy. Stars get ugly halos and fine details fall apart. But what if you could reveal real structure, dust lanes, shock fronts, and true depth without destroying your image? In today's video, I'm breaking down Verilux Revealer, the brand new sales script designed by Ricardo Patiniti to extract maximum definition while keeping your data clean, natural, and artifact-free. If you're ready to see what your data is actually hiding, let's get started. My name is Shuin Kashi and you're watching Astro Island. Okay, so we have the image open and before we begin, just want to let you know that when using the Verilux Revealer script, it must be, must be used more or less to the very end of your workflow process. So with my image, I would have already done things like the background extraction, SBCC, stretching the image. In this instance, I would have also removed the stars. However, with the Verilux Revealer, you have the option of using it with the stars or without the stars. And I'm going to show you that just in a little bit. So let's get to the computer and let's start using the Verilux Revealer script by Ricardo Patiniti. So, of course, to begin using the Verilux Revealer script, you must download it. There are, as usual, there are two options. We can go to the hamburger menu, select preferences, scripts, and we look for the Verilux Revealer script. We enable it, we click apply, and it will now download into Serial. There's also the option of going to scripts, get scripts, and it does exactly the same thing. So you have one or either option to use to get the Verilux Revealer. So I'm now going to select it. Verilux Revealer has been selected. I'm going to click apply. And now Verilux Revealer has been installed. So now if we go to scripts, Python scripts, Verilux, and as we know, Verilux has its own a uh, sub menu to work with that has all of our uh, Ricardo scripts inside of there and we now have the revealer script so we click on it and the Verilux revealer script is now available all right so let's get to the fun part which is of course using it so for the full section where it says enhancement texture micro contrast what this does is actually makes very small adjustments to the, the fine details of your image and of course the structure volume it does now it works on the much more pronounced or the, the, the more larger areas of your image um, protection the gate shadow authority noise gate this more or less protects your background while making the adjustments to your image and of course isolate stars prevent raccoon eyes <laughs> and i love the name that i recorded of use um, of course as i mentioned before you can also use the verilux revealer script with the stars enabled which i'm going to show you um, in a little bit so if we make some adjustments here let me just move this around so you can see and let me zoom in just maximize the screen even to make it even better Right, around this area should be pretty good. If we go to texture, micro contrast, and we make some subtle images, some subtle adjustments, and we have to wait just a little bit. Look at this yellow bar that's uh, moving across here. You have to wait until it's finished to begin seeing the final results. All right, and it says here, hold space or the space bar to compare and double click to fit. So in this instance, we just want to see before and after. So we click on a space bar and maybe let's zoom in a little more. Yeah, there's some really, really subtle images, um, some subtle changes that would have been done. I'm not sure if you can see it with the YouTube compression. Let me just maybe go a little stronger. Let me bring it all the way up. We're going to let this load for a little bit. Right, so it's done. And let's try before and after again. Oh yeah, now you can see um, some significant changes now that I've 
gone a little bit too extreme so before and now we have after so this is before and after yeah so it just gives you a short um, preview see before and after and of course let me zoom out now just a little more and let's now try the structure volume and as i mentioned this is now going to make some changes to the more pronounced uh, parts of the image so let's move that uh, across a little bit and just by moving it halfway i'm already beginning to see some changes happening yeah you're already seeing the changes happening in various areas of the image all right so again let's do a before and after let me zoom back in before and after before i'm holding down the space bar so you can see before and then when you release after quite a lot of uh details uh, that i brought out this is before and this is after so again i it, it all depends on your image you i would recommend you you know you don't want to go too extreme so let me show you how it would look at, at least for this image if you were to go really extreme yeah that's gonna um, look pretty and um, what some people call a uh, crunchy so for my personalities i don't like it that uh strong so i'm gonna bring it back down some more uh, maybe just about a quarter and again my recommendation when using uh when you're processing images less is more you just want to give you, you know you just want to make subtle changes as you go along you just you don't want to go all the way to the extreme on every single step that you're using throughout your processing workflow all right so again i'm going to bring this down a little bit more as well and i think this looks pretty good again let's try one more before and after yeah i like this i like this pretty much so once you've made your adjustments both to the enhancement on the and the structure um and again you can use the shadow or uh, the, the protection the gate shadow authority noise gate if you want to go pretty extreme i would recommend then yeah maybe you make some adjustments as well to the the noise so the, sorry for the noise gate and we can just click on process and then now the changes that we have uh, made just in this preview will now be actually applied to the image and then once it's applied the, the window closes off. So now I'm going to show you how to use the Verilux Revealer script if you have not removed the stars. So let's say you've processed your image um, using, uh, you know, you have not removed the stars and the stars have been included, but now you want to apply these same settings with the stars in it. So let's try that out now. Okay, so here I have the image with the stars included and out of more or less done the same workflow process except this time i did not use any star removal tools star net or whichever one that you usually use to remove the stars so everything remained the same i left the stars in, um, included and i continued with my workflow process so now what we're going to do is use the verilox revealer to bring out some of those details and this time see how it, uh, how, it uh, how it's affected with the stars inside of it so once more, we go to scripts, Python scripts, Verilux, and we select Verilux Revealer. And of course, uh, let's maximize so you can get the best view. And I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. We're going to apply more or less the same settings as before. So let's bump up that text here let's bump up the structure maybe just a little bit more so we can see the changes being applied and here's the good thing about the protection gate so if we click on show what this actually does it actually shows you the mask that's being applied to the image so that way you can see how much of the image is being protected as you can see right here so if we move it to the right or move the slider to the right you're going to get less of the image being protected and if you move it to the left you're going to get more of the image protected now what you do not want to do is to move it way too much where the background is also now being affected 
you always want to try to keep it within the image itself because what's going to happen is now you're going to be applying the Verilux UV to the background which is something that you do not want to do all right so i'm just going to bring it down some more to avoid maybe all these speckles around in the background so again you can move your slider up and down you know according to your taste and, and again it, it's according to how much of the image you want to apply this uh Verilux UV to or how much of a contrast that you want to apply to the image so once you see the uh, the the mask that you like you can disable it but it's it's still going to be applied that amount that you selected you, you can see the image once more but again the, the settings that you've applied is still there and what i'm going to do this time as well is disable isolate stars so you're actually going to see what happens and we're going to see if we get we're going to get some raccoon eyes so we disable it let's zoom into the image so we can see uh, a little better how things are going to look maybe a, a nice populated area with some stars and i'm just going to bump this up some more and let's try a before and after so this is before and this is after now what i've realized is that the stars got a little more bloated and then maybe if i bump up the contrast as well yeah you can definitely see some oh yeah definitely can see it here now definitely getting that sort of raccoon eye effect yeah it's not looking good there definitely don't want to have that you definitely don't want to have that in your image let's bump these two back down protect the stars and then maybe bump it back up a little more so like i said definitely if you have stars in your image this wants to be enabled and i would recommend just leaving it enabled throughout because you know it's it, not that anything's going to happen by leaving it on even if you don't have stars in your image so again you can apply the settings to however you like it uh, maybe a little less contrast or maybe a little more structure again totally up to you what you like we click on process and there we have it we've applied now the Verilux UV look contrast settings to the image even with the stars in the image and like I said ensure that you have that um that star protection enabled so no matter what settings you applied or you apply it will not um, have any effect on your stars so let me know what you think is Verilux Uvila going to be a new script that you're going to add to your workflow process drop some comments on below and let me know your thoughts on Verilux Uvila by Ricardo Patiniti and I, again many thanks to Ricardo he's doing a fantastic job I'm really excited to see what's going to come out next what's going to be the next new script that's going to be added to Serial the channel is growing really nicely so I will really appreciate uh, your continued to, uh, support so continue to like the videos subscribe to the channels share to many people as, as often as possible so they too can benefit from learning on astronomy and astrophotography using some of my tools and tutorials on Astro Island. And of course, I close up by saying, it's not the size of a telescope that counts, it's how you use it. Bye for now, everyone. Take care, and I'll see you soon on Astro Island.